Are you frustrated that the other parent is, they're always finding ways to not follow the court orders and they're not being held accountable and you're at your wit's end and you don't know what to do? Hi, my name is attorney Anthony Spratley. I'm the owner and founder of Genius Law Group here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where we practice family law and we do it well. Now, you may find yourself frustrated because you feel like the other party, the other parent, is never following the court order and it always appears that they aren't being held accountable. But you have to ask yourself, well, what does that mean that being held accountable, right? I hear it all the time from clients that the, the other parent is always doing something wrong, they're not following the court order, and uh, they, how can they get away with this? They can always get away with that, how can they get away with this, right? The first, question, the first question that I usually ask is, well, have you filed anything with the court? And when they say no, I'm like, well, that's how you hold someone accountable, right? So uh, before you file anything in court, obviously you wanna address the issue with the other party first before you file, because maybe they don't understand that they're violating the order, right? But probably in your case, and if you're listening to this video, they probably are constantly violating the order. But you cannot get frustrated if you're not gonna take action. Now, I know it's a, it's a more aggressive approach to uh, like confront the person and then obviously file something in court, it makes it very, very aggressive. But if you want the behavior to stop, um, if you want the behavior to be modified, then you're gonna have to take it in front of a judge if you can't resolve it, right? And so, if you have a court order and the other party isn't playing well because you know, they're not following the terms, or at least you think they're not following the terms. You can't get frustrated if you don't do anything, right? And usually what happens if you don't do anything, the offender continues to do it over and over and over and over again, right? And you get frustrated with that parent. And so you need to address it uh, through the court system so that you can modify the behavior through a court order. Now, let's say if you did file a motion and the court uh, entered another order and the person continues or the parent continues to violate the court order, right? And again, if you're saying and they're never, they're never held accountable, like, well, first of all, did the new order address the behavior? And if so, okay, um, then if they're still violating the order, then you need to go back to court again, right? You need to hold them accountable, but this time, make sure that you ask the court to modify the custody and time sharing plan, right? To perhaps limit uh, the contact that the parent may have with the child if it's not in the best interest because of the other parent keeps violating the orders of protection, right? Because their inability to co-parent, you know, maybe their behavior is harmful to the other child, but you have to keep going to court unless you can resolve outside of court, but you have to keep going to court to hold that person accountable because if you don't, you're going to be you're going to continue to be frustrated with the system you're going to continue to say that oh um, he or she is never held accountable they can get away with everything and that's not true i've been in front of many judges that do hold clients my clients feet to the fire and also uh the the other parents feet to the fire as well i've seen it once i've seen it many many times okay and so your case is no different you just have to take an aggressive approach um, to make sure that the tone is set correctly and to ask the court to, to truly uh, you know, make decisions that are in the best interest of the child, which could mean uh, modifying custody and time sharing to the point where the other parent has limited contact, including supervised contact, okay? All right, folks, if you know anyone that would uh, benefit from seeing uh, this video, share it with them. Um, also, you can go to our website, point them to our website, or you can go to our website to get more information about Genius Law Group and um, other content related to family law and custody issues. Also, if you're able to subscribe, please subscribe um, as well. Um, I look forward to uh, speaking to you soon on other topics. Thank you.